Nike De Vries was ditched by Alpha Tauri after just 10 races with the team earlier this month. Nike De Vries has already held talks about a potential return to racing just days after he was brutally sacked by Alpha Tauri, according to reports. The Dutchman was ditched after just 10 races with the Red Bull sister team, with Daniel Ricciardo having been drafted in to replace him until at least the end of the season. De Vries was then spotted chatting to Mercedes boss Toto Wolff over a coffee in Monaco, fueling rumours that a new job could soon be on the horizon for the former Silver Arrows junior. It seems as though a return to Formula E is among the options on the table, with the race claiming that discussions have already taken place over a potential move to the Nissan team. It is said that De Vries, who won the Formula E championship in 2021, is actively looking at several avenues for his future and has been sounded out by Nissan as they seek a replacement for the outgoing Norman Nato. Team principal Tommaso Volpe has openly declared that he would be interested in giving De Vries a seat for 2024, although Oliver Rowland is thought to be another candidate to fill the vacancy. Everyone in Formula E has probably thought about him from the moment he got available, said Volpe when quizzed on a potential move for De Vries. He's of interest as one of the drivers available for next season. He is interesting as a world champion, but I cannot confirm what we are doing. The report adds that De Vries could decide to pursue a dual endurance racing and Formula E program next year, having originally planned to race for Toyota in the World Endurance Championship before joining Alpha Tauri. It seems as though his future could be sorted relatively quickly after his meeting with Wolf in Monaco, which may have prompted his potential suitors to spring into action to avoid missing out. It remains to be seen where De Vries will end up over the coming months, although an F1 seat will almost certainly be out of reach given his lackluster form for Alpha Tauri before he was unceremoniously sacked. Red Bull boss Christian Horner has since explained that he did not see how the signing of De Vries fitted into Alpha Tauri's junior philosophy with the move very much a stopgap solution to keep things ticking over until 2024. He's obviously got a lot of experience, said Horner. He's not a young driver as such, from an age perspective, and I just didn't see how it fitted within the junior program. It was always a stopgap. It was becoming obviously a difficult situation for Nike de Vries, but there was a high expectation on him because whilst inexperienced in Formula 1, he's obviously a very experienced driver. I think there was a general feeling that Nike wasn't quite hitting the mark, and then the question was what are the options if we were to switch things around. From a Red Bull racing perspective, the most interesting option for me was to see how Daniel performed, so that was the decision that was made. It all happened pretty quick.